Hi and welcome. In this video, we will learn how SQL Server Database Engine chooses a deadlock victim and what is a deadlock priority. As we already know, deadlock arises when two sessions are waiting for access to resources locked by each other. In my previous video, I have explained about deadlocks in SQL Server along with an example and their occurrence. I will leave a link in the description. You can watch it from there. SQL Server comes with a deadlock monitor thread that runs a lock monitor for every 5 seconds to check if any deadlocks are occurred. When an instance of SQL Server detects two sessions are deadlocked, it resolves the deadlock by choosing one of the sessions as a deadlock victim and roll back its transaction by throwing error 1205 and allows other session to move forward. And now the question is, how SQL Server is going to choose a deadlock victim? Let's say I have two processes that are deadlocked. So which session is going to be chosen as a deadlock victim? Who is the decision maker here? Either SQL Server Database Engine or the user. By default, SQL Server will choose the least expensive transaction as a deadlock victim and roll back its transaction. Least expensive transaction is the one that makes fewest changes to the database. However, user can specify the priority of sessions in a deadlock using deadlock priority statement which means user has an option to choose which session has to be a deadlock victim and which session has to move forward. The default priority level is normal. We can also set it to high, normal or low. We can also give the integer value that is ranging from minus 10 to plus 10 which supports 21 levels of deadlock priority. The greater the number, the higher the priority. The higher deadlock priority wins and the lower priority one becomes the deadlock victim. I have two transactions. If transaction 1 and transaction 2 are having the default priority level which is normal, then SQL Server will choose the least expensive transaction as a deadlock victim. In case if one transaction is having high priority, other transaction is having low priority, SQL Server will choose the deadlock victim that is having lowest priority. If both the transactions is having the same priority level, then again the victim will be chosen that is least expensive one and if both the transactions are having same priority level and having the same cost then the deadlock victim is chosen randomly by SQL Server Database Engine. We have a Microsoft document that explains about deadlock priority statement, its syntax and the arguments that has to be passed into the statement. We have low priority level, normal priority, high priority and numeric priority. I'll paste this link in the description. You can take it for your reference. So our statement will be set deadlock priority. Mention the priority level, high, normal or low. If it is high, it means the integer value will, will be plus 5. For low, the integer value is minus 5. You can either mention the integer value or the character variable. So for integers, you need to mention set deadlock priority. Mention the integer value. The configuration is set at runtime and not at the parse time. In order to check the current deadlock priority of the session, we can use the DMV sys.dm underscore execute underscore sessions. Let us take a look at a practical example. Here I have a database with table 1 and table 2. And I have two transactions with two statements in each transaction. You can see the records inside this table are this. Each table is having three records in it. In transaction 1 that is in session ID 52, I am accessing the table 1 first and then table 2. And whereas in session 54, first I am accessing the table 2 and then table 1. In order to cause a deadlock, I am doing this. Okay. Let us begin with transaction 1, executing transaction 1. First I am executing statement 1 in the transaction 1. So now it has acquired an exclusive lock on table 1. Now in transaction 2, I am executing the statement 1. And this will acquire an exclusive lock on table 2. Now let me execute 
statement 2 of transaction 1. Now this is being blocked by transaction 2 because table 2 has an exclusive lock that is placed by transaction 2. So now if I execute statement 2 of transaction 2 that will cause a deadlock. So once a deadlock is occurred, which session will be chosen as a deadlock victim? Since no priority level has been set for these two sessions, SQL Server will choose the least expensive transaction as a deadlock victim. So in this case, session 52 will be the least expensive one because in session 54, the transaction 2 is updating three records, which is more expensive than transaction 1. So let me execute. So you can see transaction 52 sorry transaction 1 in session id 52 is chosen as a deadlock victim here we can check the deadlock priority level what kind of priority the user or the user session has been assigned since i have not assigned any deadlock priority level for both the sessions it is showing a zero zero means normal so now i want to make session 54 as a deadlock victim even though it is expensive one compared to session 52, I want session 54 to be deadlock victim and session 52 to move forward because session 52 is more important for me than session 54. So what I need to give the deadlock priority as high for session 52. The priority has been set high for session 52. Now let me execute the transactions one by one. Transaction 1 and transaction 2. Now transaction 2 is chosen as a deadlock victim here. Because the deadlock priority is default one which is normal for transaction 2 and deadlock priority is high for transaction 1. That is the reason transaction 2 is chosen as a deadlock victim. So in this way user can control the deadlock victim by assigning the deadlock priority to the transactions. Now let me assign deadlock priority to transaction 2. So here I am using the integer value. Instead of high I am using integer value 8 and I am executing these transactions one by one the statement one of transaction one transaction two and can you guess which session will be chosen as a deadlock victim it is session 52 because session 52 is having a deadlock priority high but session 54 is having a deadlock priority 8 I already told uh, priority high means the integer value is 5 but for session 54 we have given integer value 8 which is having the highest priority always the highest priority will win and the lowest priority will be chosen as a deadlock victim. So I hope you have understood the concept and clear with the demo. In the video description you can find the T-SQL script that are used in this video along with the Microsoft document that I have been referred to. In our next video, we will discuss about logging or tracing deadlock and how to avoid deadlocks. If you like the video, please hit the like button, do share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching the video. We will meet in our next video.